Hi, uh, welcome to this video on solving inequalities. Um, this is a follow-on from a previous video of just working with inequalities. So if you um, understand how inequalities work and what the different signs represent, how to put them on the number line, um, how to represent their integer values, those sorts of things. If you understand that, it's fine, continue with this. Otherwise, have a, um, a look on YouTube, um, perhaps possibly have a look at one of my previous videos on, on how to work with inequalities. All right, um, so, Please copy down these notes, pause it, um, and take them down so that you can focus on the rest of the maths and um, yeah, you can focus on what we're doing. Alright, so let's have a look at solving some inequalities. Okay, now if you can solve an equation, you can solve an inequality. Because simply they are exactly the same. Why of x minus 3 is less than, or sorry, is equal to 4. I want to solve that. I simply add 3 to both sides, so x is equal to 7. Now, the only difference between this and an inequality is that I will have an inequality sign. And if I just check this, well, x is less than 7, alright, so let's pick a number that's less than 7. 0. 0 is less than 7, so 0 take away 3, I'm just substituting 0 in for x. 0 take away 3 is negative 3, and negative 3 is definitely less than 4. If we pick a number that's bigger than 7, let's say 10, 10 take away 3 is 7, 7 is not less than 4, okay, so it doesn't work. So this inequality is solved by any number, we're putting in any number that is less than 7 for x, all right? that's what that means. Alright, cool, so if you can do that, we can solve a little bit more of a complicated equation. Um, let's say something like 5x um, minus 14 equals, ah, I don't know, let's say equals negative 4. There you go, something like that. Alright, um, so in this case, um, I've got to do the same thing, trying to do equal, uh, let's say is less than, um, is less than negative 4. So if I want to solve this inequality, exactly the same way as I would uh, a normal equation, I want to solve this and just add 14 to both sides. Uh, sorry, let's make that 4. Uh, adding 14, in that case, let's make that 1. There you go. Sorry, I just want to make this work out a little bit easier. Um, so, I'm just going to add 14 to both sides. And so I end up with 5x is less than, if I add 14 to that side, um, is less than 15. And if I divide both sides through by 5, I end up with x is less than 3. Okay, now we check ourselves. Pick a number that's less than 3. I always pick 0 because it's easy. Okay, so 0 is less than 3. So that becomes 0. So negative 14 is less than 1. Yes, that's true. So for this inequality, x, uh, every value that is less than 3 um, will solve this inequality for x. Okay, good. Um, if we pick something a little bit more complicated, um, let's say, again we'll go with 5x, um, and we'll say this time it's greater than or equal to, um, I don't know, 2x um, minus 3 plus 6 on that side. There we go. Alright, um, so yeah, let's solve this one now. Alright, so I need to collect all my x's on that side. So I'm going to get rid of this 2x here by subtracting 2x from both sides. So I'm going to have 5x minus 2x, and this 2x will disappear. At the same time, I'm going to get rid of this negative 3, so I'm going to get rid of this negative 3. I simply add 3 to both sides, so now it's going to disappear from this side, and I'm going to end up with 6 plus 3. And remember, this 2x um, will disappear because I'm minus 2x from that side. Okay, good. Uh, by the way, if this isn't making sense, please have a look at one of my videos on solving equations. Um, I, I go through how to solve equations step by step, so this should make sense to you. Uh, Alright, so this is 3x is greater than or equal to 9. So therefore x must be greater than or equal to 3. And we've got to here because I simply divide them both sides by 3. Alright, so let's test us. So we want to have x is greater than 3, greater than or equal to 3. Alright, so let's pick let's pick 10. Alright, so that becomes 15. 50 take away 3 is 47. On this side, this becomes 20, 20 plus 6 is 26. 47 is definitely greater than 26. What if I substituted in 3? Let's have a look. If I substitute in 3, I end up with 15 take away 3. So 15 take away 3 is 12. And on this side, I end up with, if x is 3, that's 
2 times 3, which is 6. Alright, so 6 plus 6 is 12. So in this case, 12 is equal to 12. And 12 is greater than or equal to 12. So it's totally fine. So any value 3 or, or more will solve this inequality for x. And it will work out. Alright, so good. A little bit of a catch here. And it comes with this idea. I could rewrite that as 3 is less than or equal to x. Okay, both of these are totally acceptable uh, ways of writing this. And this idea is going, it becomes very, very important because a lot of us um, are totally fine with working with negative numbers. Now, I've written here, um, avoid times or dividing by negative numbers. And there's a reason for this. Um, if we have, let's say, uh, x plus 1 uh, is equal to 2x I know, um, plus 7. There you go. And so I want to take my x's onto that side, all right? So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. I'm going to x minus 2x. At the same time, I'm going to get rid of this 1 by subtracting 1. So I'm going to put 7 minus 1 like that. All right, so now I end up with negative x. Oh, sorry, we're not meant to have an equal sign. Oh, there you go. We have negative x is less than 6. Okay, so negative x is less than 6. So now I divide through, because this is actually a 1 in front here. If I divide through by 1, then I can say x is less than negative 6. Okay, so let's test this. x is less than negative 6. Right, so let's pick negative 8. Right, so if I negative 8, negative 8 plus 1, negative 8 plus 1 gives me negative 7. Right. Now, negative 7, sorry, negative 7, negative 8 times 2, negative 16, negative 16 plus 7 is actually negative 9. Now negative 7 is not less than negative 9, it's actually greater. So this sign here should actually be facing that direction. Alright? Now that's a problem, and the reason it's happened is because I, what I've actually done here is I have subtracted um, actually, we'll, we'll leave this in. We'll leave this down here. X is less than negative 6. We'll leave this down here as our first answer. What I've actually done here is, if I wanted to get rid of 6, if I wanted to want 6 on this side, I'd have to subtract 6 from both sides. So let's do that. I'd have minus x minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. And now if I want to get this x out of here, because so I don't want a negative x, I'm going to have to add x to both sides. So negative 6 is less than or equal to x. And if you have a look here, these don't make sense. Because the signs are facing the other way around, and the thing is, I've switched these. Now this, doing step by step, should make sense to you. I've got rid of that 6 by subtracting 6 from both sides. I've got rid of the x, or the negative x there it is, by adding x to both sides. And I end up with something that mathematically is, is correct. But by dividing through by a negative, I kind of messed things up. Right? I went too fast, essentially. And let's pick a value that's bigger than negative 6. Right? If we pick a value that's bigger than negative 6, let's say 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 7 is 7. 1 is definitely less than 7. Awesome. Great. Alright, so let's try one more, and we'll keep our, our, our wits about us, uh, and be aware of this negative sign. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's have one more. So let's have uh, two x, and we'll say less than. I'll we'll put in. Uh, now we'll put in four x. Why not? And then we'll say plus six, and um, plus twelve. There we go. All right. Uh, let's take the fourteen. <clears throat> Okay, uh, so there's my question. Uh, 2x plus 6 is less than or equal, oh, sorry, is less than 4x plus 14. Okay, let's see what happens here. Again, I'm going to take my 4x onto that side. Now, you can avoid this situation straight away if you avoid ending, avoid having um, having to divide by a negative. Now, you'll see if I take this 4x onto that side, 
I'm going to end up with 2x take away 4x. Okay, because only way I can get onto that side is by subtracting 4x from both sides. And that will give me a negative 2x. I don't want that. I don't want this negative. So I could avoid that by simply taking the 2x onto that side. Right? So that's one way of avoiding it. Right? I'm not going to avoid it because I'm going to specifically show you what's going to happen when we get to the end. But you can straight away avoid this sort of situation by, um, as long as you have your x values on the right hand side in this case. Alright, um, let's continue. I'm going to get rid of this 6, so I'm going to subtract 6, so this is going to be 14 take away 6. Okay, and uh, so that leaves me 14 take away 6 is going to be 8. Right now, at this point here, I'll create a dual um, situation. If we forget to um, forget about this inequality of negatives, I end up with x is less than negative 4. However, if I remember, and this side is going to be wrong, this side is hopefully, we'll check, hopefully going to be right, I'm going to end up with, if I divide through by negative 2, I end up with x, and I end up with a negative 4, but my inequality flips around. And the reason for that, if I want to take this 2x onto the other side, I have to add 2x, so I end up with 2x on that side. And that 8 then becomes negative 8. Alright? And now I divide through by 2, so negative 4 is less than x. Right? And that's the reason why I have to flip this round, because if I flip this, I'll, I'll just write it. Right? This and this are exactly the same. Then we can test both of these. Let's pick a number that's less than negative 4. Negative 10. So that's negative 20 plus 6 gives me, uh, let's put it up here, negative 20 plus 6 gives me negative 14. And uh, negative 10 times 4 gives me negative 40. Plus 14 is negative 26. And negative 14 is definitely not less than negative 26. Negative 26 is more negative. It's more down the, um, the number line than negative 14. So that doesn't work. So this is definitely wrong. I'll make that down nice and red. Let's test this one here. What a number that's bigger than negative 4. All right, well, let's take 0. 0 is definitely bigger than negative 4. So 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 plus 14 is 14, 6 is less than 14. Correct. Good. Okay. So please either avoid your negatives straight in the beginning by um, working with your um, inequality, uh, working with your unknown on, on, the, on the side that you're not normally used to doing, or um, remember to flip the inequality when you divide through by a negative. And please, 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 I've done every time, please make sure you test your answers at the end to make sure that they work. All right, I uh, hope that's given you a little bit more understanding, um, uh, a little bit more understanding of solving inequalities. Um, yeah, if you want to rewind and watch anything, please feel free to do so. I've got a couple of questions for you. All right, so there's the first lot. Uh, you want to pause the video and copy them down, and um, I will show you the answers for you in a moment. All right, so assuming you've paused them, copied down, and had an attempt, here is question number one and question number two. There you go. All right, and again here I've illustrated that I'm will, I am substituting it back in just to make sure that I am correct. All right, I'm substituting back in always. And then question number three, I have done it both ways on here. Okay, with both uh, methods where I've divided through by negative three. Okay, and I've remembered to flip the inequality. And on this side here, I have not. I've just kept my x on this side. By the way, if you stopped at that point there, you get all the marks, okay? That's totally fine to have that inequality written like that. I've just done it that way so that you can see I end up with the same thing. All right, so that's the question three. All right, I hope you learned something. That's it for me. Cheers.